Today is the 29th of February 2016, a very special day in the calendar. This is because today is a leap day in the leap year. Around every four years, the calendar adds this extra day on. But why? Put simply, the year is not 365 days long. The time it takes for the Earth to make one orbit of the Sun is around 365 and a quarter days. This means that every four years we add one day on in order to keep the calendar in sync with the seasons. And now, the leap year problem has been solved. Except this is not the case. You see, the actual length of time for Earth to orbit the Sun is a tropical year, which is actually 365.2425 sidereal days long, or 365 days, 5 hours, 45 minutes and 16 seconds. But what is a sidereal day? The sidereal day is the length of time the Earth takes to do one rotation of its axis. This length of time is equal to 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4.0916 seconds. This is the length the Earth takes to orbit on its axis once. However, the Earth is orbiting the Sun as well, so one sidereal day later, the Sun will not be exactly in the same position in the sky as previously. Which is where the solar day comes in. At 24 hours long, the solar day adds around 4 minutes to the day, so that the Sun is approximately in the same position as before. This means that 365 revolutions of the Earth do not actually complete a solar year, which is off by just under 6 hours. Therefore, adding one day to the calendar every four years will still mean that the calendar is too fast, with one day out of sync every 100 years. Therefore, a new rule was adopted that the leap year would be skipped every century, but this still meant that one day was out of sync every 400 years. Finally, another clause meant the leap year would be skipped every century, except if the year was also divisible by 400. In this case, the year will still be a leap year. For example, the year 2000 was a leap year, but not the year 1900, and the year 2100 will also not be a leap year. This means that the Gregorian calendar is now one day out of sync every 8,000 years. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a greater insight into why we have leap years in the first place.